give a shout out to Amaya from our Milton location, Cliffy from Dover, and Max from Plymouth. I'm so excited you guys are here today and let's check out what they have in store. Hey guys, we are going to jump into an activity before worship now. So we are going to do a sort of scavenger hunt now. So I'm going to ask you to find something around your house and you'll have 10 seconds to bring it back in time. And if you bring it back in time, then you can move on to the next round with me. Does that sound like fun? All right, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to ask you to find is something green. So you have 10 seconds to find something green, starting now. All right, good job guys. Whoever was able to grab those things in time, you can move on to the next round with me. The next round, we are going to find a shoe. You have 10 seconds to bring me a shoe, starting now. Wow, look at all those shoes. I think I can smell that one from here. That really does not smell great. Okay, moving on to the next round, the final round. We are going to ask you to find a toothbrush. Bring me a toothbrush in 10 seconds, starting now. Great job finding all those items for me. Now you can just put them aside, stand up, and we're gonna get ready for worship now. So excited.
Hey guys, I'm so excited. Worshiping was so fun. Being able to march and jump and spin. Dude, guys, I had such a blast. All right, so we're gonna get into our lesson this week, which is the road to Emmaus, where we see two travelers on their way to Jerusalem, and we see Jesus walk right beside them. So before we do that, let's get into our memory verse for this month, which is, don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. Philippians 2, 3. Now guys, I hope you enjoy the lesson. Get ready, sit down in your nice comfortable couch, lay down on the ground, whatever you guys want. I hope you guys have a great time and enjoy the message. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name's Jacob, but my friends call me Jake. I don't know how all these balloons got here. It must just be a, another hilarious April Fool's Month joke from my friends. <laughs> and it's a good one. But I can't find anything. I mean, it took me forever just to find this camera. Hello? Camera? Where are you? I need to talk about humility. Camera? Camera? Hello, where are you? I need to talk about humility. So, let's talk about humility. Humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Now, what's a good way to describe humility? Okay, so let's say I was a world famous balloon maker. I could be all like, I make balloons better than anybody. I deserve the best seat in the house at the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the balloon convention. I deserve the best seat in the house at the balloon convention. Meh. What if I won a contest for best color box puzzle solving? I could be all like, I can cube solve faster than you. I'm smart and you're not. <laughs> or I could be like, hey, if you want to know more about cube solving, I can teach you because I'm smart and also nice. Lamps or electricity. You know everything there is to know about electricity. You're like Alfred Einstein. This lamp works because of power going through the wire into the light bulb and it makes it bright and stuff. And I can control it with a switchy poo. I know everything there is to know about electricity and light and things like that. <laughs> Sorry about that, that was really weird. I don't really know anything about electricity. Anyway, today's story is about these people who thought they knew everything about what God was up to, but they really had a lot more to discover. I've got a lot more to discover too. Like, where's my bed? And my TV? And my floor? Hey John, have you seen my...
Oh my god, John! John, wait. <laughs> Why are your pants on your head? Why aren't your pants on your head? Mm. My name is John. And I'm Brandon. And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. That's right. Today we're. Wait, what? <laughs> what? what? Mm. Why are the credits. What's going on? These, these credits usually come at the end of the show. Feel like we really learned a lot today, buddy. We have? No, we just started. Why are you. Hey, what's your answer to the question of the day, Brandon? No, no, we haven't even revealed the question. The Happy question of the day is what have you discovered about God that surprised you? Don't give you? it away. No, no, what about Kellen, the Bible story, and all that stuff? Oh. <laughs> oh. Reveal the question! What is happening, John? Everything is moving backwards. The show usually happens in the other direction. I don't know that, Brandon. But I do know this. There's nothing better than a hot and fresh apple pie. <sighs> ah. Okay, I don't know how or why, but for some reason the show is upside down right now. Everything is moving backwards. See, normally we'd start the show, maybe have a guest we talk to for a while, and then someone would say, it's Bible story time with Kellen. And Uh, can one of you please explain what's happening? Is everything moving backwards for you too? Yes. Just look at the so and so show players. <laughs> you see what I mean? Oh man, it's worse than I thought. Yeah, do, do you have any advice? No. But I do have an idea. Do you think that'll work? I don't know. Let's see. It worked! Great! What's our story today, Kellen? Our story today was written down by a guy named Luke in a book we now call Luke. He wrote about two followers of Jesus who were walking on the road to a village called Emmaus. I woke up this morning and for a moment I was happy. I'd forgotten about all the things that had happened. But then I remembered. I can't believe he's gone. I, I, I don't even know what to do now. My whole world is turned upside down. <laughs> As they were walking, a man they didn't recognize came up and walked alongside them. Up. Hello! What are you talking about as you walk along? You know, just all the stuff that's been going on in Jerusalem with Jesus. Are you the only person visiting Jerusalem who doesn't know about the things that have happened these last few days? What things? About Jesus of Nazareth. He was a prophet. He was powerful in everything he said and did. We really thought he would be the one to set our people free. Yeah, but then our rulers had him arrested and sentenced to die. <laughs> they nailed him to a cross. And now it's the third day since he died. But then. <clears throat> then what? We were told that our friends went to Jesus' tomb and it was empty. Somebody must have stolen the body. <gasps> Mary and the others said that, that there were angels. I, I know, and but... the angels but, said that Jesus was still alive. We really want to believe it's true. But how could it be? They walked on, still very confused and sad. 
they had no idea that the man walking with them was actually Jesus himself. How foolish both of you are. Excuse me? How long it takes you to believe what the prophets said? Didn't the Messiah have to suffer these things and then receive his glory? I mean, I guess. We're a little rusty on what the prophet said. Then, Jesus explained everything that was said about himself in Scripture, rewinding all the way back to Moses and the prophets. It was like God had planned for this all along. Wow, it makes so much sense now. You sure know a lot about Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Do you have to keep walking? I have so much more to ask. It's getting dark. You could stay the night with us. Join us for dinner at least. Okay. Oh, All right. Super. <laughs> I make great bread. So the man they thought was a stranger, but really was Jesus, joined them for dinner. And when Jesus gave thanks and broke bread, they finally recognized him. It's Jesus. But then Jesus disappeared from their sight. Did you? Was he? I did, and he was. I knew there was something special about him. I mean, the way he taught us about the prophets and Moses. I mean, we were so excited on the yeah, road. We have, we? To, we have to go back to Jerusalem and tell everyone. They'll never believe us. We have to try. When they got to Jerusalem, they told the 11 disciples what had been hard for them to believe but what they knew to be true, what God had known would happen all along, that Jesus had come back from the dead. He was alive. The end. Hey, great job, so-and-so show players. Uh, oh no, no, they're going backwards again. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Cool story, Kellen. Isn't it though? Those two on the road thought they understood what was going on. Then God goes and does something completely impossible by bringing Jesus back from the dead. I always think it's surprising how God's plan works out. I know, but God plans for things like thousands of years in advance. How could we ever understand? We probably can't, but it helps to kind of rewind and see how God has made things work out in the past. That way, even if bad things happen or things we don't understand, we can trust that someone who is bigger and smarter than we are has got things under control. I wonder if God's got one of these. Mm, probably not. Yeah, his is probably way bigger. Sure. Whoa, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Whoa, 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 oh boy. No, I'll leave you to Wait, it, you bye. Wow, that's someone who knows stuff was amazing. Makes me want to bake a pie. I don't even know how to deal with you right now. Thanks for having me, bye. <laughs> That is awesome. Well, hey, that's all the time we have today, Felina. Thanks for coming on the show. Well, I think the best thing to remember is that even if your pie recipe doesn't turn out the way you expect, you can still have fun baking it. Mmm, huh. that's yummy. Any advice for someone out there who might want to learn how to bake a pie? Uh, I still don't know why this is happening. Oh, you know, apple, mm. cherry, pecan, strawberry rhubarb, mm. all the classics. But hey, I don't have to know everything, right? Huh, I'll have to try that. Hey, what are your favorite pies? Sometimes it's better to be surprised. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> oh, there's no right or wrong way to eat a pie. But I like to just pick up a nice warm pie and just smash it in my face. Uh, I know we already did this, but... You know, I've always wondered, what's the best way to eat a pie? Reveal the question! What have you discovered about God that surprised you? My name is Felina Tossi and I make pies. Oh, well, welcome to the show. Who are you and what do you know? It could be something that you've read about God in the Bible or it could be something that God has done in your own life. Welcome, good to see you. Talk about it together. And we'll see you again, hopefully right side up this time, on The So-and-So Show. And I'm John. We know who you are, John. Welcome to The So-and-So Show. And action. Mm. Right, guys, here we go. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Wow. Marking. Loud. Rolling. So what are you doing after the show? 
going to replace the batteries in this remote. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, mm. that was good. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What do I have to do to get some coffee around here? Hey, John, are you ready to start the show? Now I'm confused. Okay, so it doesn't matter how important you are or how talented you are, or how much you think you know things. Things will still happen to you that you don't see coming, like, I didn't see a room full of balloons coming today. Being humble means admitting there are things you can't do and things you don't know. I am really good at that. That wasn't very humble. Those guys on the road with Jesus thought they knew everything God had planned. That's why when Jesus died, they were like, no way. But Jesus showed them God knew what he was doing all along. For like thousands of years, God left clues that he was sending someone to save the world someone from Abraham's family, a king, like King David, and he would come to earth as a baby, like that prophet guy Isaiah said. There were even clues that a savior would die and come back to life. All that came true with Jesus. So when you expect things to go a certain way, even if you like 100% know things are gonna go that way, they may not. And that's okay, because nobody knows the future, except for God. Hey, maybe we can look into the Bible for clues to what God's plan is for us. Let me see if I can find my Bible. Yeah. Ah! Oh. No, that's not it. Okay, but there's one verse I remember. It's kind of a clue. This guy Paul wrote, We know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. I think that means even things that seem bad will turn out good in the end. Pretty cool, huh? So, I don't need to know everything that's gonna happen. Because God's in control. Here's one thing to remember today. There's always more to discover about God's plan. We're never gonna know everything. That's why we've gotta keep searching. I'm gonna look for my Bible one more time. I wanna see if there's any more clues. Not what I expected, but I think it'll do the job. You might wanna close your ears for this and your eyes, just to be safe. <laughs> Don't worry, floor! Man, that was such a good story to know that Jesus is always next to us. Just like those two people who were walking down the road to Emmaus. And you know what guys, I'm so excited that we could join here for another week of Upside Down series. So, before we go, we're going to pray real quick of this week and that um, God is always with us and that we can trust Him. Let's pray. God, thank you for this week, and I pray, God, that as we go, that we can trust you. And when things get hard, that we can rely on you, and that we know that you're there. God, I love you, and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will see you guys next week.